Welcome to your new SWIFT microscope. SWIFT has been trusted by educators, researchers, and clinicians for over 50 years to deliver lab-grade optics to awaken the scientist within. Whether you're a beginner hobbyist or a seasoned professional, SWIFT has the perfect microscope for you. In this guide, we will demonstrate the basics of setting up and focusing a binocular compound microscope with our SW380 model, so you can start using your instrument right away. First, take your microscope out of the box. You should always hold the microscope with one hand on the arm and one hand underneath the base. Set the microscope on a stable, flat table. Unpack any included accessories as well and lay them out next to the microscope. Now locate the power source. For some microscopes, this may be a battery compartment. In this case, we have a power adapter. Connect the power adapter to the microscope base and plug it into a wall socket. If the microscope is not already equipped with eyepieces, locate the ones included in the box. Uncover the eyepiece holders on the head of the microscope and insert the eyepieces into the ocular tubes. They should slide in easily. Next, use the coarse focusing knob to lower the stage away from the objective lenses so that you have enough space to work between the objectives and the stage. Insert a slide into the slide holder on the stage and clip it securely into place. Use the XY translational axis knob to center the slide beneath the objective. Turn the microscope on and set the bulb to the lowest illumination setting before you look through the eyepieces. Always start with the lowest power objective over the specimen slide, in this case, the 4X objective. Looking through the eyepieces, slowly increase the bulb brightness until it is bright enough to see the sample, but still comfortable for viewing. Use the coarse focusing knob to bring the stage closer to the objective lens until an image begins to form. Then switch to the fine focusing knob to make precise adjustments until the image sharpens. On binocular microscopes, this is a good time to check your eyepiece alignment. If you are seeing two separate or overlapping images instead of one circular field of view, try bringing your eyepieces closer together until the two fields resolve into one. You should also use the diopter adjustment ring on the left eyepiece holder now to make sure both eyepieces are in focus. To do this, close your left eye and look through the right eyepiece with your right eye. Adjust the fine focus until the image is in focus. Then open your left eye and adjust the diopter ring on the left eyepiece holder if necessary until the image is in focus. You can switch to a higher magnification by rotating the nose piece to select a different objective. The safety rack stop on the microscope should prevent any collision between longer objectives and your slide. But if you can't shift the objective into place without touching the slide, use the coarse focus to move the stage away, then refocus once the objective is centered. If your microscope features a mechanical stage, you can use the XY translational controls to move the stage in order to view other parts of the specimen slide. Finally, if your microscope has a condenser and diaphragm found beneath the stage, you can use them to focus the light on your specimen for a sharper image. Move the condenser up or down while looking through the viewfinder until your image reaches to the desired clarity. In this case, the condenser is moved through rotating the dial on the condenser. On other microscopes, the condenser might be moved via a knob. The iris diaphragm can be slid either more open or more closed to control the amount of light shining onto the specimen. When you have finished using the microscope, move the stage away from the objectives. Return the nose piece to the lowest power objective. And unclip your slide. Remember to turn off the power and always keep the microscope covered with the included dust cover. 
in order to protect the eyepieces and objectives. Use only lens paper if you need to clean your eyepieces or objectives. We hope you enjoy using your Swift microscope to discover more about the world around you.